Praise the Lord. Shall we all stand up and ask the Holy Spirit who give us the courage, the strength. Thank you, Father, for this beautiful time. You give it to us in our lives. Especially as a family, you have gathered us. You have given to each one of us a family. Thank you. Thank you for your children. Thank you for the way you have guided them till today. You have led them. In their families, they have gone through various type of blessings of yours. Today, as a family, we thank you. First of all, to give us the loving parents you have given to us. Our dear and near ones. Their love, their sacrifice. Which has made us, first of all, to grow as an individual. And as a family, when we grow, what are the so many families which have stood with us, which have suffered for us, which has made sacrifice for us to make sure that our families receive your love. Yes, try and God, you live in family. Jesus said, I don't do anything without consulting my father. In John chapter 5 verse 19 onwards, Whatever I see my father doing, I do the same. Yes, Lord. You always stood with the father. The love you had with the father. Wherever you went, you honored the father. Jesus, you honored the Holy Spirit. I am, I have no power. But I will go back to my father. And I will send you the Holy Spirit. Who will be with you? Who will teach you everything what I have taught you? Yes, Lord. You loved the Holy Spirit. And you honored Him. Jesus, may our hearts to endure with that same love. Your word says, it is the love that made the Father to send Jesus to the world. In John chapter 3 verse 16 God so loved the world That he sent his only son Oh dear loving father we pray to you today That same love Please pour into our hearts Jesus it is because of the love you have for us You died on the cross You shed your blood for us Fill our hearts with the same love as Romans 5.5 5 says The main work of the Holy Spirit is To make the hearts of human person With a divine love So the seed that of the mango tree Will have the essence of mango And it will produce mangoes You and I have come from God As we read in 1 John chapter 4 verse 8 God is love And he who is born of God Is full of love So you and I are basically Coming from God who is love And if this person Human person Has to survive The person needs love So that's why God who is love Has come to be with us To supply that which is lacking In the world one of the purpose for which God came into the world is as we read in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 10 when the perfection of God comes upon us our imperfection vanishes away in other ways saying the imperfect God cannot survive on this world so God who is perfect he comes to abide with man to supply that man is going through the struggle, the pain, the disturbance, the disappointments. Only man can understand. Only God can understand. So God comes to fill us. For any family to be established, to grow, to be successful. Number one, it has to move with a vision. Yes, God has a vision bring forth man to the world man should be source of life and source of salvation mother mary god said that you will bear a son and he will 
forgive the sins of the world he will give life and god gave a vision to joseph saying accept mary as your wife and the child because he will be in your descendants this is the divine plan he will be known as son of judah you belong to judah family yes he will not mary was not belonging to judah in family so jesus will be in the clan of joseph and you will call him not mary you will call him immanuel means god is with us so god gave a vision to joseph and joseph caught up accepted the vision and he built up a beautiful family we reflected in the old testament how joseph how abraham how so many peace servants of god they all had a beautiful families no families full of ups and downs but god was there to giving them the vision they were holding on to the vision and they could cross over when they were sold when they were in jail when they were put to humiliation they were holding on to the vision yes no family without the vision can proceed or live long so for a family to survive one has to move on with the vision which god gives to us that's without the vision a family cannot move on so high today we reflect on the second part without love no person no family can feel life in them can feel joy peace or serenity in them so for a family it is the love in the family that makes the individual to feel life feel love feel joy feel meaning for their survival when there is no love in a family you can't survive we read in the family a first family god came in genesis chapter 3 and asked adam why are you hiding yourself you are supposed to hide in the lord when the problem comes god is your hiding place you are supposed to hide in the lord but you are hiding from the lord what's what's happening to you and then he said the wife the woman you gave she is the one tempted me she is the one led me to sin there is no love the love he kills maybe he was hurt maybe he was wounded in all of us we all go through one or the other hurts what we desire our life partner or our children or our parents may not fulfill it is in that moment the enemy will come when we go through hurts when we go through wounds when we go through disappointments when things are not going on as we desire that is the moment if we are not alert the enemy will come all he wants is to kill the love once the love is disappeared he began to blame the wife the woman started to stand aside from the man and said the serpent and both were standing aside but god kills an animal and gives them cloth and brings them together the love of god sees how sin and satan constantly killing the love in the family and destroying the family god never said come all of you both of you i will find out who is wrong who is right no he has no time when you go through the trials problems the earlier you come back the easier you can handle your problem the more you are kept aside blaming each other the problem becomes more and more so god never takes time immediately he brings the rope animal skin and covers them and keeps them together 
love. Love. My dear friends, we read in the book of 1 Samuel, God loved David and he gave him a wonderful anointing. In chapter 17, we read to kill even Goliath and to become famous. God anointed him to be the king of Israel. But he fell in love with a girl, the king's daughter. There are three things for which man lives on this earth. There are a group of people. They try to establish themselves. And on the process, they lose love. They want to show to themselves that I am great. I am right. The wife yells at the husband and says, you are wrong. The wife, the husband gets angry. Even he slaps her to tell her that he is right. How dare she is. But they don't understand. At the end of the day, you may prove to the world that you are right. But what is the use? You will lose the another. You can prove to the world you are right. But if you lose the another, life has no meaning. It is only love. As we read in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 10. Love bears all things. Love forgives all things. Yes. Love accepts the things as they are. 